Hi guys, welcome to a new fantasy story. Today's topic. What if the moon was made of cheese? And we had mice there. They would eat it up in a matter of time. Of course that would depend on how many mice there are on the moon. The more mice there are, the sooner the moon would disappear entirely. That is because as we all know, mice love to eat cheese. And the more cheese they eat, the less moon there is. So there would be no moon left. Which, of course, would bring down the number of mice on the moon to zero. Unless, of course, the cheese on the moon would self-regenerate, and when it would reach a certain mass threshold it would stop regenerating, that's like a built-in mechanism. In that case, the number of mice on the moon would keep increasing because they would have a steady supply of cheese. So in essence if the moon is indeed made of cheese, and if there are mice or other rodents on the moon then it's safe to assume that the moon is made of self-regenerating cheese. Who would have thought? Then it would be a good thing that we, humans, land on the moon to get cheese and bring it back down to earth and eat it. The price of cheese would of course drop as we have self-regenerating cheese from the moon. And then we could get that self-regenerating cheese and populate other planets with it and transform those planets in cheese as well. Imagine that, then we would have a lot of cheese on our hands. We would just have to build a lot of spacecrafts like the one you see in this video, and send them out in space to find other planets. So the questions we're all going to be asking ourselves now are, is the moon made of self-regenerating cheese and are there mice on the moon? Comment down below and let us know what you think. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe.